Every day I want to quit. And every day I think I'm not good enough. And this mindset, this belief is deeply ingrained in who I am and what I'm doing. And for those of you who don't know, I am building the Reciprocity Project. I'm also an academic and I write and I fail. I make a lot of mistakes. I'm never really good enough with anything that I actually do. None of the projects I feel ever that I've been working on for a long time, a very long time, ever turn out. And I look at what other people are doing and it seems like it comes so easy. I look at, you know, whether it is doing all of this YouTube stuff, I look at what other people do and, and everything is just so easy and it comes so clearly. And yet here I am doing this. I look at building software and I hear every single day in the news about some new person that has built a software platform and it's worked out successfully for them. I look at other academics, trust me, I am far behind and I work my ass off all the time with it. And I can't explain how much I actually do of that. You can't see that, but it's a lot. I sit down and I write and I write and I write and I look at data and I get tired of it. But I want you to see something. Despite all of that negative emotion that comes up and the feelings of just, I mean, you feel like you want to vomit. It's That's what it feels like. Despite all of those things, I get up and I show up. I'm here. I do this every single day. You could see me do this. I do this more than every single day. I'm going to make this happen. And I think often is what is the alternative? Yeah, I quit and I stop. Then what happens at that moment? I don't know. What is the alternative? What am I going to do? Maybe I'm going to have some sort of fancy life if I do something else. Maybe I'm going to be able to fly around the world and be an executive someplace. I have all of these beliefs, but I want you to think about what it is in the day and now. And I want you to think about your life cannot possibly change by thinking of all of these other things because they don't exist. My life does not exist other than what I have right now. And the only way that I know, despite some magical person that comes in and changes my life, which is not going to happen. I've been doing this for a long time and it has not happened. Despite somebody or something stepping in, some person that's going to give me $10 million and all of a sudden everything changes my life. I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to do this every single day, despite the fact that I might not want to do this. And it's hard. And every day, I know that other people are making fun of me every day. I feel the pressure of the fact that people are saying, like, why is this person doing this? This is a waste of their time. Every day, all of these emotions and feelings happen. But I get up and I do it and I try and I put in the effort. And so despite the fact that I will never probably have a Facebook or, you know, I will never be known as an internationally well-known research scholar for the things that I've done, despite all of those things, I get up and I do it and I try one more day and I put in the effort. And there's nothing that somebody is going to say that's going to stop me. I view often these things as what is the alternative? I think about that question a lot. If there was an easier way, I would be doing it. If there was a way, if I knew that it was schmoozing was the way to get through and do these things, then by, by all means, I would be doing it. But guess what? I've had my fair share, fair share of schmoozing, of networking, and it doesn't work. You can't trust a lot of people. They will tell you to do things 
They will tell you all these things, but until they put their money into it and they actually put the effort in, they're not going to do anything. Everybody wants to put their name on your project, but nobody wants to do the work. And that is a painful life lesson that we all have to go through before you start seeing these things. So the only way that I know how to get the word out with the Reciprocity Project is just get up and do it every day and tell you every single day. Repeat and repeat and repeat. The only way that I know how to, to write papers and to do research, get up and do it every day. Repeat and repeat and repeat and every day. It's not gonna make that much progress. Every day, in fact, it's probably gonna go negative. But screw it. What's the alternative? What's the other way? If you can name and tell me all these other things, by all means, do it, right? <laughs> like, if there is a magical thing that comes up, by all means, do it. But the only way that I know that works is for me to get up and do this and put in the effort after thousands of videos, after thousands of posts, after thousands and tens of thousands of hours of writing on, on, on my research and, and doing all of this stuff, you know, the only thing I could say that actually works, is just working. It's just putting your butt in the seat and getting going every day, putting in that effort and letting everybody else laugh at you, letting everybody else saying, what is this person doing? And just putting in the effort one more day, one more little tiny day. I wish that there was an easier way, but that's literally it. That is it. I am a, um, I think of my dad often. He went into the mill, the pulp and paper mill every day for 46 years. Every single day he'd go in, come home, go in, come home. And I think about that as the perfect role model for doing these things. Your life, is extraordinarily boring in a lot of ways, but you do it because that is what you do. There is no other alternative. You can sit and watch TV, you can sit and do all of those things, but guess what, nothing's gonna happen. The only time it's gonna happen is when you get going and you try and you put in the effort and you continuously do that despite what everybody else says despite what you read and all of these success stories and all of these things, you just get down and you get going and you work. You plow that field. You get out there and you put in the work. You you do all of the, the shoveling the snow. You do all of the, the heavy lifting. You, 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 you pick up the tables. You do all of that stuff. That's the only option that you have. Honestly, if there was another option, I would be doing it, but it doesn't exist. So what can I do? What can you do? Just get up, get going one more day, put in the effort every single day, despite the fact that you are not going to want to do this, but you get up and you do it and try one more day every day.